Hi YouTube, uh, Fez UFO here again. I've been asked uh, by a member to uh, show you how to program a repeater um, input output CCTSS, uh, sorry CTCSS, and uh, the splits and everything. So I'm going to do one in UHF and one in VHF so you can see the difference. First of all, if you uh, uh, don't know your repeaters uh, that are near to you, uh, you can go and have a look on UK Repeater uh, website and just Google it in, and, um, and they should come up with uh, some around your area. Uh, I'm trying to think. If not, you can you can get um, the Repeater uh, map for uh, Google. I think you have to go on the RSGB website, and uh, there's a link there. Um, to go onto Google Earth and it will uh, pop the 2 meters on 70s and 6 meter I think repeaters and you can turn them off it'll pop them onto Google uh, Google Earth for you <coughs> so um, that's how you find your local repeaters anyway or repeaters that are around you you might think you know you could be able to get uh, other than that you'll have to look on the internet for it so anyway, I'm going to program two repeaters here, like I say, one in UHF and one in VHF on the Baofeng UV, uh, UVB5. And uh, it's a straightforward process, so we'll turn it on. Welcome. Okay, now be sure that it is in channel, um, frequency mode. Okay, so we've got channel, sorry, up and down there. So that's the top and bottom by pressing A and B. It is actually in... Uh, yeah, frequency mode. So we have one four five five hundred, which is a two meter column channel at the top. We're going to put in. Well, I'll put a two meter one in first because it's easier. Uh, <clears throat> so I've got a repeater number which is GB three HG, and I think that's up in uh, Richmond somewhere, or uh, maybe up in uh, North Allerton, somewhere like that. Anyway, the uh, the frequency for it is 145625 so we'll move the top button around 145625 ok press menu just to have a check on what the step is the step is 12.50 kilohertz ok if it was set to anything else you might not get the the 25 at the end the 625 might go into something like you know 615 or 613 or something like that so uh, be sure that your kilohertz are set so you can get 625 if it's not it's quite simple just to change it and uh, for the frequency to pop in anyway we uh, now need to go to the um, <coughs> CC, CTCSS tone so press menu Scroll through to T code number 12. Okay, as you can see in there, it's already in, it's 88.5. To change this, oh, it's gone off. To change this, I'll have to go to 12 again. 12, make sure it's T code, transmit, change it, press AB, the arrow goes down. You press menu and it goes through to D DCS codes off CTCS so right we'll go back off CTCSS 67.018.88.5 so scroll through 88.5 that was lucky it just went off just check that Eighty-eight point five. Good. Okay. Now we need to do the split. The split is minus point six hundred kilohertz. Okay. It changes for UHF, but for, for VHF it is zero 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 point six hundred kilohertz. Okay. 
So we'll scroll now to press menu and scroll to offset. Now we've got a, an offset frequency of 1.600 there. That's just for you, chat. So we'll have to. Let's have a look. Menu. Offset. You have to type it in, that's why. Couldn't change it. Zero. Zero. And it's got the point there. Six. Zero. Zero. So you can see that the point. Zero, zero point six hundred offset. Menu. Turn it down to 21, number 21, and it's got uh, a slight shift. You want a plus or minus, um, or off. Now, because it's minus 600 kilohertz, 145625 frequency VHF, you want to put the minus sign in. So, we'll go back to there, number 21, hit menu, it goes off. 21, 19, 20, 21, right, hit uh, AB, that's it together, the arrow down, scroll through, it's 0, minus, plus, 0, minus, so it only goes that way, that hasn't given me a second to do it, menu, hold it on, minus, so 0, minus, confirm, menu and that's it now if you key up on it you should see that the channel actually change oh, it's actually changed already why have I got six three seven in there for some reason ah that's it six two five yeah now you can see it changes when you key up from 625 to 025, that's minus 600. Okay. Store that in uh, whatever channel number you want. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, we'll go on to the uh, UHF one now, which is GB3CY. And that is 433325. So, we'll key it in because it's easier. Four, three, 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 two, five. Okay, now that's in there. Hit menu, we'll get the CCTSS tone, which is 88.5 again. So we'll scroll through here. A T code, that's number 12, 88.5, it's already there. So that's okay. Then we press menu key again go to 21 I think isn't it 21 17 two. yeah offset 22 now this is one an offset of plus and it's going to be 1.6 megahertz okay so that's 1.600 press menu again offset press a b I'm going to have to type it in, so it's 0, 1, 6, 0, 0. See what the decimal point is? 0, 1, 600. Press menu. Go to 21. That's fre uh, frequency sh shift. Hit A, B. And we want it to be, it's going up, so it's plus 600 for UHF. So we've got the zero, minus, plus. That was lucky you. I went on straight away. Just check that. We'll just check that. And it actually went on. Yes. 1.6 megahertz and it's a plus shift. Okay, so when you key up there, you should see the frequency change. Three 
925. So that's basically it guys, that's how you program the repeaters. As, you, as I said you can uh, serve them to any channel that you want simply by pressing and holding the scan button. Your number flashes on there at the side here, number 30. Whichever channel you want to store it into, store it into 50 or whatever. If you don't want to, just simply come out of it by pressing FM and it won't store. Okay, there you go. I hope this uh, helps you out uh, for programming your repeaters. Like I say, try and find them on the internet. Um, the basic programming is, is pretty straightforward as long as you remember your frequency, um, your CTCSS tone. Uh, which is you must have for transmitting to open up the uh, the, the uh, uh, repeater, which usually is on the uh, website or uh, on Google uh, Earth if you've got those in, and it'll give you the uh, the the plus and minus um, frequencies to input for your VHF or UHF um, frequencies. Okay. So guys, I hope it's uh, sorted you out and I uh, hope it's a bit more uh, understandable because uh, I had a, a problem at first. I thought all the frequencies were the same and, you know, <laughs> forgot about the tones and everything else. So it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a learning curve, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, cheers for me. This is Mike Six, Zulu Echo Foxtrot, signing out. Cheers guys, all the best.